considered sacred by the Hindus, Sagar Island sits at the confluence of the Ganges and the Bay of Bengal. This large island, which is home to a population of about 1,60,000 people, is buffeted by the worst effects of climate change. Coastal erosion, rising sea levels, unpredictable tidal surges, land salinity, and increasingly violent cyclonic storms. The Sagar and Khoramara Islands provide us a peek into the future as to how people are coping with a rising sea level. In order to probe into the psychological impact and to see how life continues hanging on to a thread of hope in the aftermath of repeated environmental disasters, it was an objective of the Healthy Climate Initiative to give an on-the-spot eyewitness account from these two islands. The ashram of Kapil Muni is located at Ganga Sagar. Hindus believe that a holy dip in the Ganga Sagar emancipates one's soul like those of the cursed sons of King Sagar. Legend has it that a scheming Lord Indra had stolen the sacrificial horse of King Sagar and kept it hidden in the ashram of Kapil Muni. Accusing Kapil Muni falsely for stealing the sacrificial horse, the sons of the king incurred his wrath, who cursed and reduced them to ashes. It was ordained that only the holy waters of the Ganges could redeem the souls of the sons of the king. This video makes an attempt to understand the human emotions at play as the people watch their lives and homes being relentlessly washed away. The sea is swallowing up their past while their future is heading for a watery grave. Surprisingly, most of the people of these islands know the causes of the rise in sea level and they also know that their homeland on which they were born would exist only in their memory. Their memory is still fresh about how a 12 feet high tide on the 12th of July 2014 that overflowed the mud embankments flooded nearly 30 square kilometers inundating 14 villages located on the eastern side of Sagar Island. It caused a huge devastation which remained largely unreported. Experts predict that even a 25 feet water surge is possible in the near future and warn that this was only a preview of the shape of things to come. There has been numerous reports relating to the sinking of these islands and a lot of research work has been done at the Sagar and Ghoramara Islands to investigate the causes and effects of the rise in sea level in these areas. Situated near Sagar, the island of Ghoramara has shrunk to about 5 square miles which is less than half of its original size. However, some other islands such as Bedford, Lohachura and Shupari Bhanga have already disappeared under the sea. How does all this affect the lives and emotions of the people when they see all that they have in life sinking right in front of them?
অভিজ্ঞতা বলতে আমাদের এই প্রথম অভিজ্ঞতা হলো যে ঘরে কিছু ক্ষতি করে ঘর বাড়ি ভেঙে যায় এ এ এমন করেছে আমাদের আমাদের পুকুর ছিল আমাদের মানে পুকুরের মাছ গেল চাল গেল সব কিছুই গেল কাপড় চুপুর সব কিছু ঘর ভেঙে গেল মানে জল ভুগে গেছে যাদের এই ছিটাপাড়ার ঘর দাঁড়িয়ে আছে এতটা জল এতটা জল ঠাকুর সেই জমি চলে যাওয়ার পরে আপনাদের অনুভূতিটা কিরকম মানে কেমন লাগে আর কি সবাই মানে এদিক থেকে লোকজন মানে হয়তো heavy ship traffic can affect the morphodynamics of a waterway and can cause regression of shorelines. However, the rate of such regression is dependent on factors like the distance of the shoreline from the navigation channel. Although no definitive research work could be identified to establish a correlation between the Haldia Dam and the soil erosion in Goramara Island, it has been observed that dams hold back the sediment normally found in a river flow, depriving the downstream of such sediment. In order to make up for the sediment, the downstream water erodes its channels and banks. But I don't know how to do this, but I don't know how to do this. Yes, I don't know how to do this. পরিবেশের সচেতনতা কিরকম যাই যখন যা বলেন তাই করে পরিষ্কার প্রধানমন্ত্রী বলছিল তখন ঢাকা দিয়ে পরিষ্কার করছে এখন প্লাস্টিক মুক্ত করছে
आधा किलोमीटर एक किलोमीटर जमी अलरेडी नष्ट हो गए नष्ट हो गए सरकार थी तो व्यवस्था कर जोर जले भेगे भेगे तो समुद्र चले आसते सत्य तीन निश्चिंत मैं जा कपिल मुनि समुद्र तलाय मूर्ति In numerous research and various studies, the causes of a rise in sea level have been elaborated time and again. However, it is really sad to note that when India is going to celebrate the 75th anniversary of its independence, the people in Ghoramara continue to remain deprived of even basic facilities like electricity, clean drinking water, and have to wait long hours just to get a ferry service in this video we have touched upon other human interventions that could be causing soil erosion in these islands one could be the ship movements in close proximity to the shore the other could be the building of the holdia dam out of the analysis a few solutions are suggested These may mitigate the problem of rapid soil erosion at Goramara Island and could help the survival of the residents. Number 1, rerouting of ship movement, especially of the container ships from the immediate vicinity of the shore. Number 2, plantation of mangroves along the coastline, especially the one facing the Bay of Bengal. Number 3, building of embankments with boulders and concrete instead of wooden pillars which provide no lasting solution four training people to cultivate in a soil having high salinity and adaptation during disasters five rainwater harvesting to preserve drinking water six providing basic facilities like electricity water and regular ferry service for the people if a piece of land or an island similar to the size of ghoramara were to be occupied by an enemy nation we would be defending that with military might and resources a modern fighter aircraft costs as much as 1600 crores of rupees however even if a small percentage of this amount could be spent to fight against nature's wrath it would be sufficient to take reconstructive measures to save this island not every battle needs to be fought with a gun at the end of the day the reality is we are losing this island these islands 
located at the southernmost tip of the Indo-Gangetic plain, are also strategically important for India. Some countries are even making artificial islands in the middle of the sea. It would be disgraceful for a country like India to remain a mute spectator to allow such beautiful islands go to their watery graves. It is possible to save these islands and even reclamation is also possible. So let us join our hands to make it happen.